Hello everyone, and welcome back to my personal channel where we remember that the powerful are to blame. Today, we are once again discussing New Jersey senior senator, Democrat Bob Menendez. We discussed him on this channel before when we called on him to resign. Senator Bob Menendez should resign and we must continue to push against corruption. Far too many of our leaders are okay with grift, graft, and outright bribery. Following his initial indictment, which detailed how he took a variety of payments, including gold bars, envelopes full of cash, and a car for his wife in exchange for special treatment for Egypt, approving arms sales, and interference in criminal prosecutions. We will largely not be reviewing those allegations in this video, so if you need to go back and check that out, do it. But the short version is the feds have a ton of messages, serial numbers, photos, and more that make these allegations look more like a home run. On January 2nd, a new superseding indictment was filed, which adds additional allegations. These allegations include that besides the existing benefits he provided to Egypt, he also provided additional benefits to Qatar. Pretend for the rest of this video I'm saying alleged every six seconds or so, and also remember that I am not a lawyer and this cannot be legal advice. Even for you, Bob, the new indictment specifically alleges that Fred Daves, that's the one who gave Menendez all the gold bars, asked Bob for help. Initially, he needed help getting rid of his criminal prosecutions, which we discussed in the last video. Fred needed more help, though. Specifically, Fred was working on a real estate project in 2021 in New Jersey and wanted financing to help finish it. Our enemy Bob introduced his friend Fred to a member of the Qatari royal family who runs an investment firm. If I had to guess, this is almost certainly Bandar bin Mohammed bin Saud Al Thani, who leads the Qatar Investment Authority. After this introduction and while the investment firm was considering investing, Bob made sure that he said very kind things about Qatar in public, which by itself is not a crime, of course, though considering their human rights abuses, I would be very careful about what I said in public about them. The more suspicious part, though, is why this senator felt the need to text his press releases to Fred and then tell Fred that Fred might want to forward them to the Qatari official. This was not the only incriminating messages, as after Fred was able to meet with the investor, he also sent old Bobby Boy a message with pictures of different luxury watches with the message, how about one of these? Now, Bob, I'm sure you're right that you are moments away from being vindicated and we are all just joining an unfair witch hunt against you. By the way, nice watch you're wearing in these pictures. It certainly looks like a Santos de Cartier worth about $7,000. Thanks for helping me find that watch, by the way, non-binding IOI, Matt Levy, KB43, and Adam Scotch, along with several others. Turning away from that expensive watch, let's go back to the allegations. At the beginning of 2022, things really start to heat up. Fred was planning to fly to London to meet with the investor, and Bob decided to text them one of the most exonerating messages I have ever seen, where he says, Greetings. I understand my friend is going to visit with you on the 15th of the month. I hope that this will result in the favorable and mutually beneficial agreement that you have both been engaged in discussing. Yeah, gotta hope for those favorable and mutually beneficial agreement that you both have been engaged in discussing. A couple months later, the same day that Nadine sold the gold bars that Fred gave them, we get another really innocuous text that everyone's just reading way too far into. You see, Nadine texted Bob to ask him, is it just you, Fred, and the Qataris in the private room this entire time? To which Bob told her, it was. Couple months after that, apparently Bob asked the Qataris to provide tickets to the 2022 F1 Grand Prix in Miami for a relative of Nadine's. That same month is also when the investors finally signed a letter of intent to enter into a venture with Fred's company, and then Fred gave Bob another gold bar. That night, that fucking night, was when Bob decided to go home and Google one kilo gold price. A couple months later, in June 2022, is when Bob and Nadine's house was raided, which, for most people, would convince them to stop accepting special gifts. And it did, allegedly of course, convince Bob and Nadine to make a bunch of payments, falsely label them as loan repayments, and try to cover up the fact that they'd accepted all this money from these individuals. However, Bob doesn't think like I do. And 2023 is when the Qataris and Fred finally formally entered into the agreement, investing millions of dollars into this joint venture. Then, 
Nadine's relatives got another set of tickets to the Miami Grand Prix, the 2023 one, obviously this time. Bob, Bob, how the fuck could you think it was a good idea to accept those tickets after your house had already been fucking raided? My God, and those text messages. Do you really think you're going to be exonerated? Those text messages are incredibly incriminating. Far less important, though really hilarious, are some of the other details they now mention in the indictment surrounding some letters that Bob sent. You see, between 2020 and 2022, Bob Menendez sent a series of requests to the Department of Justice because he wanted them to investigate another member of Congress for failing to register under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. Specifically, I think based on this post that the person he wanted investigated was Floridian and Republican David Rivera, who he felt violated FARA by doing work for Maduro's Venezuelan regime. And since then, David Rivera has been arrested. So yeah, it seems like maybe David Rivera was acting as a foreign agent without registration. But Menendez was sending these letters while allegedly doing all these crimes involving payments of cash in envelopes, gold bars handed to him by drivers, random watches, payments of furniture, mortgage payments, luxury car payments. He also wanted to make sure that none of his colleagues were breaking the law because he hates corruption, I guess. The central point of all of this is just for me to return to this point. Bob Menendez must resign. Every single Democrat should be able to look at these indictments and state very simply that Bob Menendez must resign. And those who refuse to do it, like Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, are cowards. Fucking resign already, Bob.